Hi there everyone, this is Karen Hooley and I'm excited to show a, a short video today um, teaching you how to do the magic ring in crochet. Now the magic ring is how I make really tight um, centers to hats and anything else that I'm working in the round from the inside out. So let me show you how easy this is to do. We're gonna start with our tail and we're gonna make sure our tail is in front of our hand and if you're left-handed you can do it the other way too but I, I'm right-handed so I'm going to do it right-handed um, put the tail in front I always leave a little bit here at the bottom then I take the yarn and the working yarn and I wrap it around my hand once so that the working yarn goes to the back of my hand then what you're going to do is you're going to take your fingers out but you're going to be careful not to uncross the working yarn from the top there and then you're going to grab your crochet hook. I always leave my one finger in so that um, it does. I don't lose the crossed yarn there. So then I'm going to insert my hook into the circle. I'm going to grab the working yarn and pull it through. And then I'm going to make a chain. And sometimes this is a little difficult because you've got one hand holding the yarn and you can't always catch the way it's supposed to. And there we go. I pulled it through. And then that's all there is to make the magic ring. Now, I'm gonna put some stitches in the circle so you can see how this works. I'm gonna do double crochets, so I'm gonna chain two more because I've already done one chain. And then I'm gonna put seven more double crochets in here. There's one. And you'll notice I'm working over the tail. I just like to do that because when I close up the circle, it's already woven through one direction. I don't have to weave it again. Um, I, well, I do have to weave it again, but I don't have to do as much weaving as I would if I just left it dangling there. So I've got four there, five, six. I just like to do eight to usually start a circle. Sometimes I'll do more, sometimes I'll do less, but most of the time I do um, eight. So here's one more. Now, I've got the eighth one in here. And you'll notice that my stitches are way off on one side of the, the circle and there's, there's the rest of the circle here. And if I wanted to join to form a ring, I couldn't do that. So in order to do that, to join, I just pull the tail to tighten everything up. I pull the tail, tighten it up, and then I join with a slip stitch in the top of that chain three that I did at the very beginning. And I'm gonna pull this loop up a little. There we go. And there is the start of a, of a hat or a, a um, pot holder or something. And you'll notice that the circle is really, really tight. And that's all there is to it. So I, before I go, I wanted to just make sure to acknowledge that um, Cascade Yarns um, has sponsored this video with yarn. And I'm using Cascade 220 in the color green tea. Um, you can, if you can look here at the color number. And I love this yarn. It, it's got great stitch definition. And if you're not allergic to wool, it's probably the wool I recommend the most for any project if you're looking for a worsted weight wool. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you can always contact me at karenhooley.com. And I will see you the next time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel. Um, just hit the subscribe button and then if you hit the bell after you subscribe, it'll notify you anytime I upload a new video. Thanks and have a great one.